Hello everyone, welcome back to America Truck Simulator. So today guys, we're going to be taking, taking a look at another mod. This is the next generation uh, Peterbilt 579. Uh, I found this mod over on um, mod sites. Um, got the truck all fixed up. What about a yellow color on it this time? Now you drive safely. We'll be hauling some uh, reinforced beams up to Yakima. We got 221 miles. That's about the closest one I could find. I could find one no shorter. We got the digital uh, mirrors on the inside. We got the side. I don't like is the curtain here on the side. It's a little bit in the way for my taste. Uh, here's the inside of the truck. This truck has bunk beds, as you can see. Let's go, right. A little bit loud there. Let me turn it down a little bit. Let me make some adjustments in the sound there. Uh, the engine sound and everything's a little bit too loud. Music off. Hang on, just a minute. I'm trying to find you here. Got the music turned off there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the truck sound down uh, so we can hear it a little bit better. The engine sound up just the engine a little bit. Not too much. I don't want it to go too loud. I think that should be good right there. Yeah, that's a little bit better, I believe. So the day the truck's trying to pack our engine. Um, Turn left. I believe it has, it's 410 horsepower. What's in the truck? Uh, this is probably going to be one of the trucks we, we, that we will see SCS bring out eventually. Want to go with a yellow color? I don't normally use a yellow color on the truck, so but it's something a little bit different. Next video I will be doing, I will do another video on the Kenworth, the next generation. Oh, get ready to turn left. As you know, turn guys, left. I don't do a lot of modded trucks, but I want to get in. I did see this on the mod site, and I said, well, we'll go ahead and run load with it. We'll close up that map and that thing here in just a minute when we get on the interstate here. Let me know how you feel about these mirrors too. I don't really know if I like the mirrors though. Still may be a little bit loud. So I hope everyone's doing well. Hope everybody's enjoying the, the content. I keep left there. Um, I had to take a little bit of time off. Um, um, LSPDFR had uh, cried, uh, uh, got corrupted again, so. 
had to reinstall that. Got some other things going on. Um, I've been kind of working on too on the side. I was looking for new content to play on the channel. There's been some stuff updated that I'm going to get back into. Uh, same as a lot of people did like, whether they're ready or not. So we're going to kind of look at it again for you guys. Y'all like that. So we're going to get back and look at it and do some more ready or not. Um, some other games is coming out. I keep left there. Trust has a power up on there. Even 500, 400 horsepower. It's, it's um, pretty good. Yeah, we're, uh, we're peaking every time, a little bit, about 60 miles out right there, so we'll go ahead and get a thumbnail. Oh. I'm a little rusty here. Let me see here. There we go. Go ahead and back out here. Yeah, like I said, I want to go to yellow this time. I don't normally use a yellow truck, so it, it's a little bit different for me to do a yellow, but that's okay. I have seen these uh, Peter Bills in a yellow. And so what, what do you guys think about the new look? I actually like the look of this uh, 579. It, it, it's a really looking good looking truck. It's aggressive looking in the front. It looked, to me, it looked better than the uh, Kenworth. But, you know, everyone likes, uh, one, so. So we got our thumbnail. I had to meet the mic there for a minute, excuse me there. So guys, what are you looking forward to for uh, ATS for 2022? I'm really excited for Texas and Montana. Both of that's going to be huge. Um, it's going to bring a lot to the game. I mean, Texas, you know, they've uh, showed some... Um, pictures and some video of some of the industry that's coming for Texas. Uh, we're getting cotton. It's going to be a big industry for Texas in, um, in the game, uh, which is kind of uh, surprising to me. Uh, I do know that Cal uh, Texas is a big um, cattle state, so I think we would get a lot more of the cattle industry. Um, but cotton's going to be great to see. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be something new that we don't have right now. So always great to see that. Always great to see they made more companies, more things. Um, I haven't really seen too much more about Montana yet. I know they've showed a little bit. I, I, I may have missed that one, the, the one from Montana. So, but yeah, Texas is gonna be a lot. It's gonna be good. Uh, and, and which one do you think come out first? You think, uh, Mon I, me personally, I think Montana's going to come out first. It's not a big mistake, which now they've been working on Texas longer. So they may get it out first. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. And uh, what trucks do you think they could think it's going to come this year? I would love to see this one of the TC80 come out this year. Yes, yeah. I know that the International LT is in the works. They did show, uh, not the LT, I'm sorry, the, the, the 9900 is in the, excuse me, I'm sorry, I just woke up, guys. Um, Keep right, and then exit right. The 9900 is uh, in the works from them. Uh, they did show a teaser of that, so we know that that's coming. Exit right.
Maybe we'll get some side driving today, some side road. We'll have to be on the interstate the whole time. That would be nice. If my, if my voice is a little bit different, guys, or the heads uh, sound a little bit different, I had to get a different headset, so I'm still trying to get it all just to get it back like I had it. My other headset quit working, so I had to get a different headset. It is, it is a little bit different. driving today which is awesome to see where we get some back road drive a lot of times this uh this game only gives you interstate unless you make it uh when you unless you change your route to where you can get back road driving so it's great it's great to see that we get a little bit of both also guys the scheduling is going to be changed for the channel i'm gonna i'm, gonna, I'm getting another job i've got another job now so Thing. It's going to be a little bit different. I'm hoping they try to keep it the way I'm going to be able to keep videos on the channel for the whole week. They're going to be pre-recorded. You know, they'll, they'll come out at a certain time at, during the day. Um, you, will, you will not get videos on Saturday and Sunday. Go straight on. I, I may try to do a live stream on Saturday or Sunday. Um, I haven't decided yet. I'm going to have to wait until I start this new job see exactly how things are going to go with that. That's 73, 72 miles. <clears throat> we'll show you some of the different um, add-on options for this truck. Uh, customization options uh, when we get to our, to our drop. Uh, using a controller to drive, and I don't have a wheel. Uh, it's not too bad. about comments and stuff uh, let me know if the game is too loud the audio is too loud so I can adjust this I've been working on trying to get it adjusted where it's uh, good for both uh, we can hear the game and the audio both so that's something that I'm still adjusting with this new headset Try to get over in the other lane, it looks like. They're gonna 
let us get over. Go straight on. That's right. Yeah, it's a little bit loud. I'll have to adjust the sound a little bit. I can kind of tell. Also, guys, I'm not using the MHA Pro map right now. Um, I do have Coast to Coast in on this on this profile. Bit of side uh, back road driving, which is better than nothing. CHP. So guys, this will go up on both the channels. Um, I've been posting more of the ATS and ETS2 content over my second channel. I have started another channel for live streaming, which I have not done anything yet on. I have not had the time. Which will be uh, coming very soon. Let's slow down. We're running too a little bit fast here. That's all right. We get a ticket. I've also been working on my back end too, trying to do more back and out um, right. from inside of the cab too. That's something that I've been working on too. Been practicing trying to get better where I'm not backing from the outside view of the game. Turn right. I've been working on the stutters, trying to get that to the cab too. We just hit an officer. Oh well. 
That was a mistake. Okay, we're on the way. We're almost there. We just banged up our new truck. Also, guys, we're using a new cargo pack that's come out over in the workshop. Oh, get ready to turn left. It is, it is a, um... Turn left. It's, it's really, no, it's not going here. It's going, okay. It's a, uh, flatbed uh, cargo pack. Right. I, I was trying to think we'd go on here. This is where it ends, sugar. <laughs> Alright, where they want it. Okay, right in that corner. Try to back as much as we can from inside the cab here. Let me get out and look. Yeah, we have to cut it short. Let me pull up. Yep. I think right there would be good. Right in the corner back here behind that trailer. We're good on this side. Yeah. Just 
start cutting in sharp now. better at this back at it from inside where to cut it sharp though We're not cutting it too sharp. Straighten it up here. Pull it straight here like this. Gotta straighten it up and do it, do it back up. Must be over too far. Get out a look. Yeah, we're a little bit over far. Yeah. Okay. Let's bring it over a little bit. Probably hit it, we are. Scraping our truck up. Let's straighten it up a little bit. We're good now. There we go. So we drove exit. We drove 221 miles. Took us five hours, 56 minutes to get here. We consumed 30.5 gallons of fuel. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and we're gonna, uh, before we do anything, well, we can uh, go ahead and get a job here. We're not going to do that, though, because we're going to change trucks. So, we're going to go into the uh, dealership. I'm going to show you the options for this truck. Come on, dude. Peterbilt, 579. Okay, so it has two cab options. It has the high ride sleeper and the day cab. You have multiple chassis options uh, from a 6x2, 
150 gallon up to a long 6x4 300 gallon. Um, it, it has a mid lift, uh, short and long. You have engines uh, anywhere from a let's see, a four four uh, like a Cummins 440, 445 horses, all the way up to a 600 horsepower Cummins. Uh, quite a few engine options here, which now some of the engine mods that I'm running may be working with this truck. So maybe some more engines on here that you may not have than what I have, because I do have a. Uh, Quite a few engine mods on right now uh, through the Steam Workshop. So, uh, transmissions you're anywhere from an Eden Fuller 10 speed up to a 7 speed uh, with a retarder. Interior you had three uh, four different types of interior. You know, like the gray. I wish you got out of the curtain. I don't like the curtain. Um, another gray. Here's your, this is, uh, looks better to me, the wood grain finish here. And this is not bad looking. Um, also. <clears throat> excuse me, you have multiple colors that you can use, um, for the truck. Actually, not a bad looking color on it. Uh, it has a lot of options, uh, mirror options. As you can see here, you, you could use the like this. Um, so yeah, it has a lot of options. It is a nice looking mod, really good looking truck. Uh, can't wait for SCS to bring this to the game for themselves. Um, as you see, it, it comes with all the options. Uh, it does give you a, a CV option, which is really really nice. I'm glad they done that has bump beds in it as you can see so so that's gonna be it today guys on the on the run want to get it here like I said do a run with the next generation Peterbilt 579 um, I do like the truck. I like the front end. It looks really good. It looks more aggressive than the older Peterbilt does. Um, it is a fleet truck, but uh, it, it does have a really good looking to a good look to it. I'm sorry for the talk of the day, guys. I just woke up and I'm still trying to get a uh, woke up enough to speak today, I guess. But um, yeah, um, I found this mod over on ATSmods.com. Uh, I don't run too many modded trucks, so when I seen it, uh, I, I did run it because I wanted to check it out. Um, I mostly run ACS trucks. Um, that's just my thing. That's what I that's what I like to do. But thank you for everyone who watched the video. Thank you for everyone who's been subscribing, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And leave comments on it, maybe some other trucks you may want to see. Uh, there is some other ones that we can take a look at. I'm going to be doing another one, like I said, on the T680. So. And let me know too about the audio because I am working on that too. So, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And have a good day.